Welcome back to our channels, Warriors. We are still growing. If you haven't had Neil Flood, who's the CCPOA Executive Vice President, but he's also part of the CCR St. Quentin Transformation a Council that helps preaches the California model. He's on a union, but he's also preaching the California model. You guys do the math. Where the fuck do you guys want your money going? To the CCPOA union or to the Patreon at the description of the link below? Also, shout out to all the members. I love you. You're the heartbeat of this channel. Without it, it wouldn't be possible. Stay tuned for your well-deserved shout out at the end. This motherfucking episode right here. Luckily, thank God, I was able to resurrect. See what I did there? The questions from my Q&A on my Instagram. Somehow I was able to pull it up. So here we go. Have body-worn cameras helped or made things worse? Okay, when I was a lieutenant at Donovan, I'm kind of proud of this, but not really. We were the first prison in history in the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation to get body-worn cameras. Allegedly, 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 we were beating up disabled inmates. Allegedly. I was there. Hector, were you guys really beating up disabled inmates? No, what it was was inmates pretending to be disabled. Well, how do you know they were pretending? Well, because they have walkers, but they were doing handstand push-ups on the walkers on the track. Does that seem disabled to you? And what they would do is they would assault staff, staff assault, pow, bang, boom, pow, pam, and staff would utilize force to protect themselves, and then shit would go downhill, not even downhill, just normal procedures, right? And then they would make allegations of unnecessary excessive use of force. Would the inmates get hurt in the process? Yes. Would the officers get hurt in the process? Yes. Now, me personally, I love the body-worn cameras in AVSS. One, because it's good Patreon material. Two, is because uh, it's good evidence preservation, right? You can capture the inmates doing their crime. And it's a good training tool. Right. If you see an officer do something stupid or fuck up, you can pull the rest of the troops in. Well, I mean, this is what I would do. You're not supposed to, but I would do it and say, look, do not do this fucking stupid shit. See this stupid shit. Don't do this stupid shit. Oh, shit. We get it. LT, we get it. Unfortunately, Pollard and Buckle, they were into some kind of weird shit like uh, voyeurism and they were spying on the officer's body worn camera 24 7 365 it became disgusting and then it turned into a whole burn the cops for whatever they're talking about on their downtime is that what the c cameras were for no they even specifically said that's not what it was for it was to make sure that there was no misconduct against inmates right not to be spying on their downtime Why do inmates try to go mental health crisis bed? What's the benefit? Well, they think they're going to avoid punishment. Like, let's say they batter a cop, right? You have an inmate, Donovan, classic 101. Uh, this inmate Dominguez who slashed the fucking throat of the fucking CO at Corcoran. Guess where he's at right now, right? They do something drastic. Then they go, oh, I'm suicidal. I need to go crisis bed. They think they're going to avoid punishment. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. It's just a, I don't know, man, like a little kid that breaks something and then they want to fucking cry foul. Can you hit me up? Need a convo with you, home, homie. Hey, bro, hit me up on the DMs, dude. Uh, and if I haven't already got back to you, shoot me another DM, bro. Like anybody that want, has been reaching out to me and I have not yet, I'm telling you, dude, I've just been, not just, I'm telling you guys, I've been in between two homes, right? I moved separation currently with my wife and it's like fuck oh i'm not making excuses i'm just saying like hey keep getting at me right i'm not blowing you guys off it takes me a couple days sometimes to scroll i was fucking thinking yesterday my phone is non-stop non-stop and i'm not complaining because it's cool it keeps me busy and busy is good uh but dude yeah hit me up for sure talk about your tattoos explain their story this is a good solid dude right here all right let me see my camera See this tattoo on my arm? That's a fucking arm band, tribal, fucking barbed wire, ridiculous tattoo. 
I was 18 years old on R&R from Iraq. Halfway through Iraq, R&R. I was over there, I don't know, six months. Came back to San Diego, Brawley, for 15 days. Mission Beach, right where I work out every day. Mission Beach, Belmont Park. There's a tattoo parlor right there. I was 18. I could have swore I was going to get killed in Iraq. I would have had a good hunch. I was like, you know what? I want to get a tattoo before I die. I want to know what it's like. So I went in there. I fucking picked something off the wall and I got this shit when I was 18. Went back to Iraq thinking I was a cat's nuts. And I didn't die. And now I got to walk around with a stupid fucking armband. Uh, as you can see, there's my CIB right here. Combat infantry badge right here. That's a Grim Reaper. I don't got to really explain what that's all about. And then on my back, I got the names of my eight. Oh, fuck, dude. Total of nine. Total of nine. Eight friends that were killed in action. One who took his own life. So I had to add that ninth name. Um, got my last name down my left. Try. Represent. I got a sugar skull tattoo with a broken heart. From all the hyenas that be breaking my heart. And then I got this hand grenade tattoo G. I don't know why. I just like it. Um, oh, then I got my lion hand tattoo. That I've always wanted a hand tattoo. But I didn't want one as a CO, correctional peace officer. I thought it looked unprofessional. Again, my opinion. Not your opinion. Um, so when I resigned, boom. Blast it. Blast it. And why the lion? Because there's only a one fucking lion, Lionel. Only one motherfucker. And who's the king of the jungle now? Nah, just kidding. Anyways. Oh, and then I got my Cuerno de Chivo. Ooh. Ooh, I got a surprise coming up. Oh, for me. Oh, it's a little gift to myself. Oh. Love me some Cuerno de Chivos. AK-47. Do I prefer the AK-47 over the AR-15 platform? No, I do not. But something about that bad boy. Something about that bad boy. Praying God restores your marriage. Well, thank you. Thank you. Been in Arizona Corrections for five years. Think I should try for Cali Corrections? Nah, bro. Stay in Arizona. Uh, it depends on where you're from. If you're from Cali, come back to Cali. If you're from Arizona, stay in Arizona. I wouldn't. There's people that come from Arizona, come to Cali, and they're like, fuck. I mean, the money's good, but golly, man. What the fuck is this? Saludos, mi pa puro brole. Well, actually, he said brawly. That's what's up. Did you leaving, and I had seen this comment right here. This is a good one. Did you leaving CDCR and starting social media come between you and your wife? It did. It did. And here's why. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm be a straight shooter, right? And here's why. Again, it sucks because my wife can't defend herself, right? She can't tell her side of the story. But this is, how, this is the way I see it. This is the way I see it, right? It didn't matter what the fuck I did, right? I could get a new pencil and be like, oh, look at this cool new pencil. And the type of person my wife is is like, Oh, let me see. What, what are you doing with that pencil? What are you doing over there? Let me see that. What are you doing over there? Why are you always paying attention to that pencil? And I know what my mom's going to say because, you know, women always side together. Yeah, Hector, you weren't showing your wife enough attention. You want attention? Look, look up. That's a fucking roof. That's a ceiling. See how you got a roof over your head and you're not sleeping on the fucking parking lot? <laughs> <laughs> how about that for attention? My fucking $1.2 million home. Shit ain't free. You ever wonder how I quit my job and didn't lose my home or my cars? That's called hard work. Fucking appreciate that. Anyways. So any little thing, right? One time I got a fucking Oculus Quest. Any, any, uh, we were together for 17 years. Trust me. I was testing. I was trying new things, right? New things on purpose. Just, oh, look at this cool fucking pen. Oh, let me see that pen. What, what if, you're always on that pen. Right, so there was nothing I could do. Nothing. I don't know what you're thinking. Yeah, Hector, my wife is like that. My wife is like that. Well, I don't know what to tell you. They're all the same. Then they complain that all guys are assholes. My workers, can't we just be? So I was saying, one time I bought an Oculus Quest, you know, the virtual reality, 
Ooh, and I had already known that my wife, like, was with this type, right? I could just feel her staring at me. When I had this shit on, I couldn't see, but I was just putting extra. Whoa, whoa, my goodness, this game is so pow, pang, boom, pow, virtual reality. And I could just hear her, turn off the lights, turn off the lights, I need to go to sleep, right? Putting extra. So the question asked was, did you leaving CDCR starting social media come between you and your wife? 100%, absolutely, here's why. Go back to all my videos in the past, starting on day one. My wife really did this to herself, really. Go back to day one. I never, ever, ever, and she watches this too. And it's again, it's the truth. It's a fucking truth. Hopefully she can have a realization. Realizations are good. Coming to terms are good. I never talked about my relationship or relationships on YouTube. Never did. Pay attention. Never. People would ask me. I said, hey, I'm not the one. Right? I'm not the one. I'm not one to be giving you relationship advice. I'm not, I'm not that dude. Right? You don't want relationship advice from me. And again, no disrespect, wholeheartedly, my wife being my wife, started doing her thing. Why don't you tell your followers on YouTube how much of a piece of shit you are? Why don't you tell your followers how much of an asshole you are? <sighs> okay. Seems to me like she wants me to talk about my relationship, my marriage on the fucking YouTube. And then I, again, I'm an all or nothing type of dude. I don't know. I went all in. Ah, fuck my marriage. My marriage sucks. It's these fucking bullshit. Ah. And then you can never be happy. Why are you talking about our marriage? Did you fucking tell me? No, I told them to tell them. Again, trying to get involved in what I'm doing. I told you to tell them how much of a piece of shit you are. Oh, well, this is pretty piece of shit of me to fucking come and bash my marriage. And if they don't gather that, then I'm a fucking asshole. Then they don't gather that, right? So did you leaving CDCR and starting social media come between you and your wife? Yeah, I would say. Yeah, I mean, you, I just told you how it played out. Now, do you think my wife came between us? Do you think I came between us? Ego, pride, lack of communication, all of the above. Social media? Yeah. You'll notice that I'm no longer going to talk about my relationship. I'm cool. I've, <laughs> I've proven my point. My point is I'm done, right? Like, that's my fucking point. I will tell you this. I am living peacefully, peacefully here. N literally peacefully. I'm getting fucking younger. I'm going, the hand of time is going backwards. The only, holy major bad part is not seeing my daughter long periods of time, right? Like throughout the day. But it's cool, though, because even when I was around the house, my daughter would start getting an attitude with me. They start feeding off of each other. The female dog, my wife, and my daughter. Right now, it's cool. <clears throat> Who do you got winning it all for the Super Bowl? Dallas Cowboys. What's up? What's happening? Why is CDCR closing yards? Here's why. The state of California cut the, deficit, cut the budget of CDCR by $700 million. Rightfully so, giving all that money to the inmates and their dog shows and their fucking car shows and the mental health. Anyways, so it made sense to them to shut down yards. I don't know. Will you have other colors for the girl dad t-shirt? Yeah, let me know what color you want. Shoot it on the fucking Instagram, Hector underscore underscore Bravo. Let us know. You got brother Matt over there. He, we're part of State Issued Collection. Let us know. Again, anybody out there, you guys want a certain color, certain design? Somebody asked for tank tops for the females. Ask, and you shall receive. So it ain't no thing but a chicken wing. You hearing about this inmate peer support program going around? Um, I did not hear about that. At this point, it doesn't even matter. Do they need peer support? I mean, they were already, they already have, they already have all these programs. What's one more, you know? And it does it help. Maybe hopefully one person will listen, pay attention and never go back to prison. Stay focused and keep your head up. Be that male role model for your daughter. Thank you. Have you seen the reaction some channel had on one of your videos? Channel name is Breaking the Cycle. I did. I did my video yesterday was based on that. I said, hey, we're not all level three, level four GP, man. Some of us have been around. 
which goes to the which goes to uh which goes to say working a mentally un- mental health prison is worse than working a GP prison. Harder, more dangerous because those dudes are fucking impulsive. Those dudes don't think. They just they just fucking act, attack. It's crazy. Was it easier for me to work Sentinella over Donovan? Oh, you could Sentinella runs itself. It's autopilot. It runs itself. Go to Donovan. You fucking juggling chainsaws. It's crazy. Why do a lot of officers still write with clenched fist? I don't know. I like writing clenched fist. It, it, it just seems to me like old school, original, OG, clenched fist in your report writing. Do you ever wish you re-enlisted of ETSing? Never, never, bro. Never wish I fucking re-enlisted over ETSing. Not that I had a bad time in the army because I didn't. I'm just that army was not my thing for life. Do you wish things would come together between you and your wife? Yeah, 100%. For sure. Only a fucking idiot would want um, conflict. Right, only an idiot would want. I, I don't. That's not my style. I hate. I want peace. I come in peace, man. I keep trying to tell people I come in peace. Right, Jeff McCumber. The motherfucker hasn't reached out to me not once. That's on him. Motherfucker. Well, what do they call it? The olive branch. The motherfucker. A. Hey. Well, it's too late now. He's already showed his true colors. But anyways. Yeah, I hate conflict. How young are you? Forty years old. The big four zero. Are you interested in working for a private security? F- Firm personal protection. Yeah, what's up? Shoot it. I've heard... Fe- I'm only good at three things. One is shooting, moving, and communicating. I've heard federal pens are equivalent to the level four state. I don't know. I never work feds. Not a question, homie, but I sense mine. Homie, tu sabes? Yeah, what's up? ASO, that's the homie right there. Started my own podcast. Was wondering if you'd be interested in coming down. Yes, bro. Shoot it. Let me tell you something about this podcast, social media world. <sighs> I'm available. I'm down, right? You guys got to ask, reach out. And if I don't get back to you immediately, that's because I'm busy. But my manager or I will. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm a huge I'm a, I'm a huge advocate on closed mouths don't get fed in general, right? Yeah, for sure. Are you friends with any famous attorneys? No, I'm not. Do you know any info about CDCR reinstatement? Is it one or two years? I want to say one year, bro. It's always it's always been one year. You have a one year right of return, allegedly. I don't sleep much since I started the department. What do you do when you can't sleep? Oh, I sleep. I take melatonin. I turn. I don't watch TV. I don't even watch TV. I don't be on my electronics, my phone, my laptop right before bed. I fucking crash out. I utilize that time to crash out, right, to unwind. Should be an hour. Should be an hour unplugging time before you go to bed. And I keep a routine, a consistent routine. Am I the type of dude that could drink coffee and go to sleep? Yes, but I don't do that, right? I mean, depending. I don't really, I, I wind down. I prepare for the night. 37 years old, do you recommend applying? Yeah, here's why. You're 37. You're already mature. You're older. I believe the retirement age is 57. Okay. So apply now, 37. In 20 years, you will be 57. You'll have your 20 years in the department. Promote. Um, you can collect your uh, medical after 20 years. Oh, and then that way you don't have to do it for fucking 38 years like every other youngster. You're good. You got 20 years in at your time of retirement. That's fucking good math. What do you think that YouTube channel California Uncensored Insider? What do you think of that YouTube channel California Uncensored? I have seen a couple videos. Some of them are funny. They seem accurate, right? But again, I don't really watch too many other channels. Whatever I do, I kind of focus on myself. Kind of know it kind of sounds selfish, but it's just not enough time in the day. Since gang banging in the streets has died down, is it the same in prison? It does not seem to me that gang banging in the streets has died down. It seems like it has fucking picked up at an accelerated rate. Um, gang banging in prison, that's not really a thing. It's all about money. Dope. And power. 
Are you ever going to be on hood stocks? That would depend, man. I would have to have a conversation with Lucky beforehand. Um, right. Do I have a mutual rapport, respect? Uh, I'm like I, with anybody, right? With anybody, I can talk to anybody. Um, and that's even if he would have me as a guest, right? So am I ruling it out? No. Am I saying yes? No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, hey, if it happens, it happens. I ain't even tripping. What's up with any happening? Is it scary to post your little girl on the internet? I'm a dad too, and I'm so weary of posting them on the net. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it, right? I, 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 yeah. <sighs> Ask my daughter. Ask my daughter what I tell her. Baby, if anybody hurts you, you let me know, okay? <laughs> right? I don't operate like the average individual, okay? I don't operate like the average individual. If anybody were to ever hurt my fucking daughter, right? That's it. That's it. I already came to that terms a long time ago. That's easy for me, right? I think everything is mental. Like, everything is like... Am I or am I not capable of defending and protecting my daughter? Yes, I am. Um, it's twofold. It's twofold, right? Because uh, one day I will pass away, okay? And what will she have left? She'll have memories. She'll have memories. She'll have videos. Hey, welcome back to our daddy-daughter duo. She'd be like, damn, look at my dad walk me to school every single day of his life, man. I'm so blessed. Yes, baby, I love you. I'm always going to love you. Program time. That's what's up. What would you recommend the most, boxing or martial arts training for a new CO? Any, any and all of the above. Any and all of the above. Get moving. Move your body. Go work out. Go fucking do something. Get fucking lose the fat. Build that muscle. Build that cardio. Build that mental fucking strength. It, it, I see it so... I think what I see, you guys don't see, man. I don't know how the fuck... Yesterday, I was sprinting on the treadmill. Boom, 40-year-old vato. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm working out as hard as I can every day. And I'm like, how the fuck are these young kids, 21 years old, 22, 23, chubby, fucking out of shape, and you got this fucking 40-year-old man over here just dominating, dominating. How bad do you want to live? That's the way I look at it. Who does your eyebrows? Some some uh, Afghanistan lady. She's an Afghanistan lady, right? I have no preguntas, but praying por tu, Hector, and tu familia. Have a great week. Thank you. Appreciate you. Love you with all my heart and soul. Look, 23 minutes in. I'm going to start unwinding, winding down. <sighs> I'm a regular dude, right? Well, I'm extreme at times. I think you guys gather that from my videos. I have strong belief system, okay? Strong fucking belief system. I, I like to think I have a strong moral compass, okay? Like I told one of my other friends at the prison, we always say we bully the bullies, okay? I'm pretty simple. I'm pretty structured. And, and it, life did not always used to be that way, man. I didn't fucking wake up like this, man. I did everything the wrong way first. I made every bad decision there is to make, Okay? Me separating from my wife, I don't even know that's a good decision. I can tell you I followed my heart. I followed my gut. I can tell you that me arguing in front of our daughter, the fucking anger, the yelling was not healthy for our daughter. That's not healthy, right? I will say this, man. I saw a problem. What it appeared to it appeared from to it appeared that I was the problem. 
I removed myself from the situation, okay, for for it to ease the pressure, Psst, right? Because it was bad. It was fucking bad. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. Can't get along. Like itchy and scratchy. Fucking crazy. Um, with that message for today, man. Look, some of you guys are still married. Some of you guys are young, dude. That's that's a beautiful thing about life, man. You're all over the place. Enjoy it. Communicate. If you're with your spouse. Now, come on, man. You, you you follow your fucking gut. If you know it's over, then it's over. Chalk it up as a loss or a win or an experience. If you know that you love her or you love him and you want to laugh, make it work, make it work. Fucking make it work. Put your goddamn pride aside. Put your pride aside. Put your ego aside, dude. That shit gets in the way too, man. Ego in 2024 to include myself. Ego's fucking bad, man. There is some fucking... And social media, and we agreed too, me and the other homies, we talk. Social media in 2024 has given these females, no disrespect, a false sense of, oh, I don't need no man. Oh, I can do it all by myself. And you know, let's go back to the old days, right? When you used to get to be able to get a fucking switch, no bigger than your thumb, and just beat that fucking bitch. Welcome back to our channels, Warriors. We are still growing. This episode was sponsored by the following patrons. Jeremy, 89, made me. CO's gone wild, 69, 80. You're a long way from Starbucks, homie. L, Batman Americano. Ali, hey, 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 CO. Can I get some TP? Ismail, Terry. Hold on, I just got a text. Let's see who it is. Hold on. It can be three people right now. Okay, it's the homie, the homie, the homie. Ismail, Terry, Puro Pinchy Party, Giselle, Tarvin, Carlos, Ramiro de Leon, The Hound, Miss R, Milkers, Danners on My Feet, Abuelita's Journey, John Wick, Abuelita Irma, I Don't Give Two Shits, La Primera Play at Your Own Risk, 209, That Chanate Warrior, William, Rigoberto, Tio, 949 Desmadrosos, Menace to Society, A-Rod, 310, Chris, Lizniak, Nisi B, I don't know, I'm not the regular La Verga 209, Brian the Lone Specialist, Jesus, West, West, S.S. Shags, The Homie Turtle 13, Pachanga 209, Darlene from Santa Ana, F Your Man H, write me up, VSP Eddie, Sabatino, Alberto, P.O.'s and cons are just pawns of the corrupt sack. Yeah, easily. Peace officers and cons are just pawns of corrupt sack. Yeah, I tell you guys, stop fighting at the bottom. COs stop fighting with inmates. Inmates stop fighting with COs. Family stop. Family members stop fighting with the COs. Focus, focus, focus. They are just fucking your worlds up, and you're not focusing. Any reason I can't hold you? Fontaine, Dixon, McCrary, Kevin. Damn, La Piñata got another management job. <laughs> Golly, program time. On to page number two. Hey, I'm just medical. Get fucked. Take it home. Carnalito. Treatment not time. Enforce fit. My outdoor activity. GG11. Bravo. The legend himself. Don Chicharo. Shut the fuck up and make it wink. A la verga 760. Miss Scorpio Rising. Miss Raw. Geo. G Ride. Vote News Come Out. The Prison Psychologist. 4084. Zeus. Michigan Wolverines. I have an eight hour chrono. Put me out six self. A wall like Monty. One bad yard. Pedal Cherokee Cat. I gave you two tits and you gave me two back. Loco Moco, the Big Bad Wolf, Raider 62, L. Eli, Gerardo, Rico, S. D. Pelon, 1205, who's doing the pipe, Denise, the real McCoy, not the fake McCoy, J.B. Smooth, the Pogan, the Six Pack, C.O. Narcan, don't work, my Sally is man down, <laughs> C.O., my Narcan ain't working, my Sally is man down, that's fucking crazy, C.O., I couldn't do it, I had to get the fuck out of there, I couldn't do it. Ah, second thought, that 37-year-old that wants to be a CEO, don't do it. You're going to see some fucking bullshit. It is fucking crazy. Ricardo, maladjusted, Ragtoss 5.0, Carmine the Pimple, Lori, the homie CJ Zavalza, EOP Whisper, Fuck Your 602, Las Vegas Slice Live. Go check them out. On to page number three. Viva Mexico, cabrones. Lift up your sack. Now pull open your mouth. Could you, Matt, can you visualize that? Lockdown 5, La Reina, Winston, Tony, El Skid, the OG, Hobie Cat, Lead with Love, Albert 12, Soul Star, Motorcycle Club, supports your movement. That's what's up. Shout out to Soul Stars and Motorcycle Club. Shout out to Soul Stars and Motorcycle Club. 
J.I., Claudia Esquiel, Big Bad 48, the homie Nova, Mrs. Linda, the retired CEO, Marius Robert, Chavel 66. Hey, girl, pop me up so I can give you some OJT. Central Control, there is a code one in my pants. And the homie Rags, if you have not already signed up for that Patreon, I will send you a copy of my ebook if you sign up today, September 11. September 11, 2024. Make sure you hit that link in the description below. You're definitely missing out. I love you. Keep pushing forward.